Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, Starduck CEO Brad Wardwell was tweeting a lot this weekend about Project Scorpio. Now, he basically said Scorpio's 12 gigabyte of RAM means no real technical limit, and that it'll take developers two years to fully utilize the system's power. Now, as usual, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can click on the article for yourself. Now, for those of you that don't know, Brad Wardwell, he is CEO of Starduck, and he runs the Oxide engine that powers the game Ashes of Singularity. Now that game is one of the only and true DX12 games. This game was one of the first DX12 games and to my knowledge the only DX12 game that truly utilizes multiple GPU. Now I mean this in the true sense of the word where you can take an AMD GPU and an Nvidia GPU, use them together and they power the game. Of course you can also use your integrated GPU. Basically this system really truly is DX12 to the core. Now he was saying that it doesn't matter that developers only have 8 gigabytes of the 12 gigabytes on Project Scorpio when he was responding to Jess Gordon when he asked, well, is this the case? Even though only 8 is available for games, his response was, how many video cards have 8 gigabytes of GDDR5? This is correct. And if you follow some of the PC gaming out there, a lot of the cards really, even if they have 8 gigabytes, they really end up just using 4 gigabytes of the card. So he is correct on saying that it's going to take developers quite a lot of time to get the full power out of Project Scorpio. Now he went on to say in order to properly exploit the power of the new level APIs like DirectX 12, and Vulkan, game developers need a core neutral engine and only Stardock Oxide's Nitrous Engine does this so far and like I said it's only being used in the game Ashes of Singularity. Now he says other uh, studios are going to require such an engine and they're going to need a couple of years to get up to speed. He also said that he needs to make his engine much bigger as well that it's not quite triple A game ready yet. Now he also went on to talk about the draw calls that Project Scorpio can do. Now he says here in his tweet, one big feature of DX12 and Vulkan API that people don't hear much is that it can load graphic assets to the GPU from multiple threads. Now of course this is a feature of DX12 that is baked directly into Project Scorpio. Now they put this chip in the GPU to help the command processor do thousands of draw calls with just 11 instructions. So the level of graphic assets from the GPU from the multiple threads you're really going to see a visual difference on the screen now he goes on to say that most of the loading screen time today is caused from processing textures and meshes and that in DX12 and Vulkan this can easily be done in parallel now Microsoft Scorpio will have six teraflops of computing power which is more than the 4.2 teraflops that the PS4 Pro has of course it has the 8 core CPU that has been heavily modified that they can can't even call it Jaguar anymore. Now I have to say I'm really excited for this holiday release of the console. I hope that the price point is right. I'm hoping that Microsoft prices it at an aggressive $399. However, realistically, it's probably going to be priced more at $450. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. As the time gets closer to E3, we're finding out more news every day about Project Scorpio. And it's not disappointing. It's actually overachieving what I actually thought the system was capable of doing. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. So please leave your comments down below. I ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.